welcome back to my channel. It's me, Dest, back with another haul for you today. We have a small tea move haul. Very excited again to get into this haul because there's something in there that I desperately want. I have been waiting three days to open this because I'm waiting on other packages to arrive. Are those packages running a little bit late? Well, later than I expected them to be, yes. Am I going to get £4 credit for each one? I hope so. Um, <laughs> I'd Look, they're not running over the time just yet, but there's one that's very close. If it doesn't arrive by the 6th, I get me some four pound credit <laughs> and I, I need that right now. Anyways, if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy your stay. A like and a subscribe goes an awful long way. And if you are one of my regulars, much love to y'all because you're going to need it with me. Okay, so before we get into the package, I may be recording another video today, which is very different to the videos that I normally do. I'm going through this massive stage in my life where I'm changing a lot of things. I am being far more daring than I've ever been in my whole life uh, regarding looks wise. And I'm trying so hard to love myself um, and do what I want, okay? so. There's going to be a drastic, a drastic change coming later and I hope to film it. I may end up on a reaction channel um, for a fail, shall we say? You never know. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is because I don't want to ruin the fun. Um, but yeah, hopefully it is. <laughs> I'm hoping and praying that it's going to go well. Also, we have a tattoo update slash reveal excuse the mess back there it's already driving me nuts because i can see it i can see it in the camera and it's driving me crazy so i've just literally been pottering around this afternoon since i've been home obviously i went and got some bangs cut in got myself a nice little fringe going on i really like myself with a fringe i don't know if it's a me thing or what but i just feel it looks nice i guess i don't know yeah, we won't talk about it right now. <laughs> uh, so anyways, uh, yes, excuse the mess back there. I've just literally shoved everything on the table and I will go for it after I've done this because I wanted to get this done. So later I've got some more space on my phone to record what I'm going to do because I need to get this baby edited and up today if pos. So let's get into the haul. Oh, wait, wait. I didn't do the tattoo reveal. All right, so tattoo reveal. I hope you're all ready to see. I absolutely love it. So you guys can kind of see like here what was going on here. And this is as much as I had done last time. So obviously I, ha I still had the outline and stuff that was being done and whatnot. But I got it all colored in. And let me just tell you, I feel like the shading and the coloring in is the worst. The outline I can stand no problem. Outline me all day long. But the colouring, that really, really hurts. Especially when you're going over something that's already been done. Like, I don't know if that's worse having it done that way or what. I just, but that was, that's honestly the hardest sesh I've had. And it, like the tattooist, Rob bless him, he was like, oh my God, you, you just sit like an absolute champ. And inside I'm like, ah, I'm losing the will, but I'm never going to show that. <laughs> All right, you ready? So this is still healing, but this is the finished project. I decided to change the colors a bit because... I just thought it would look better having other colours incorporated into that. So it's still healing at the minute. It's still a little bit scabby around the back and it's very itchy. So I'm just trying to keep that sleeve down as much as possible. Oh my God, my bat wing's out and forced today. Um, so I'm just trying to keep it, keep it together. But I absolutely love it. And I know my dad would be so over the moon with how beautiful it's come out. So... 
that's for my dad for his memorial tattoo I am thinking of adding to it a little bit more as well later on um I probably might get some robins added to it like the UK robin oh, just absolutely gorgeous they really are beautiful birds and I love robins and I all, always associate a robin with a loved one coming back to visit and um I think the first diamond art I did after my dad's passing that I actually completed was uh, a robin one. Oh, it was beautiful. I did it for my dad for Christmas. And it it wasn't the first Christmas after his passing. It was quite, a, I think it was like six Christmases or seven Christmases after i just i didn't know what to do in general and i wanted to get my mom something that she could keep that was beautiful and not something for the garden as such like i normally get so yeah i mean it's beautiful i will try and get a picture of that um to post on the community tab because obviously with trying to get this video up today i just won't have time um because it's over at mom's <laughs> and it's like me having to drag the kiddos back out to go to mom's um, I didn't think about it until just now, but uh, yeah, I will try and get a picture of it and put it up on the community tab when I go and see mum again. So without further ado and me blabbering on, let's get into the haul. Okay, so just open the bag. I'm... <laughs> this may be like... <laughs> this may be like one of my favourite things already. Like... I just love this colour in general. So I've never ever had a lace front wig and I kind of wanted one just in case, you know. Like, you never know what's going to happen if my hair gets super thin or what have you. And I just, I like to be a bit eccentric. Oh, that's caught. That's caught. Okay. I like to be very eccentric. I love that colour. I just love it. It just reminds me of mermaids. So I decided to get a lace front. I just want to see how it's going to look. I probably won't try it on today. Um, but it, it looks incredibly small though. I don't know if my great big head is going to fit in this. I have ordered some wig caps as well that aren't here yet. So yeah, but like the colour of that. I just, it just, it's everything, is it not? Is it not just everything? Like... I'm a, I'm a green kind of girl and I think that green kind of suits me like when I've got all my makeup on and stuff it just yeah it's kind of a color that I resonate with um but yeah it's it's very nice look at that like that's quite well done I do like how that's done um am I gonna post a picture up when I've tried it on I might do depending on if I can get it because I need to watch a video on how to install a lace front wig. <laughs> um, oh my goodness gracious. I keep dropping it or almost dropping it. But like I say, if you don't drop it, it's not a haul, right? It's not a haul unless you drop something. Um, but yeah, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And it's not like super shiny. I mean, a little bit of dry shampoo in this bad boy and it will be literal. Like nobody would know. Nobody would know. Especially if you was wearing like a hat over it as well. So nobody would really know for sure. Didn't mean to do that. They could guesstimate, but they wouldn't know. So yeah, that for me, I really love that. That's, I mean, considering that synthetic hair, you know, it doesn't look like super shiny. You know how some wigs, they've just got that sheen to them, haven't they? That hasn't, and I like that. Okay, next thing. <laughs> so, y'all remember I broke my speaker by accident. I'm not putting it in the bathroom anymore. Because if that happens again, I'm going to be so mad. Because even though it was my fault, just open it at the bottom because it's already destroyed at the bottom. Even though it was my fault, I still got a bit like, hang on a minute. You said you were splash proof, but then I thought about it and I was like, yeah, but it didn't say it was bath proof. <laughs> but I do have two chargers now for them. So, I mean, this one looks a bit bigger. I don't know if it's just me or what. Let me just uh, 
give it the old little check. Yeah, it's coming on. So, no, it's probably not bigger. It's probably just me. Again, the stingiest little wire in the world. No, turn off, darling. No, turn off. Turn off. There we go. The stingiest little wire in the world. I don't know why they do this. Like, I know. What are you trying to save on here? Like, the, the wires are pitiful from Timu. I don't know if it's the same case with Sheehan, but if so. Wait, that's a different. That is different. I'm sure the other one was like a different kind of wire altogether. I can't remember. We may have to go back on that video and have a little look, but I'm almost positive that it wasn't this kind of connector. What the hell? Okay. All right. Whatevs. <laughs> okay. I still love it, though. Um. Okay. Next thing I have is... Aha! Rumstein. This is my eldest. I'm going to put it away for Christmas. Um, I think they've lost the novelty of watching my videos now. So I can kind of show you guys what I get and not have to worry about them watching. So I got him this for Christmas. Oh, that's got some stretch. That would even fit me, I reckon. Hang on. Wait, let me take my hair down real quick. Ah, my luscious luffs. <laughs> my hair needs washing badly. Okay. Oh, yes. All right, the fringe needs sorting a little bit, but yes. Okay, Ramstein. See what I mean by it needs washing badly? Like, this just has a mind of its own. I like it. Yeah. Okay, anyways, it's not mine. I'm keeping it off my head. I mean, that's not bad quality, to be fair. I like that. He's going to like it, too, because it's, like, literally his favourite band. Um... Which I love that for both of us. <laughs> All right, let me put that to one side. Okay, this one is for me. For I need I needed like beanie hats for the winter, just in case. This is actually pretty good. This would be good. So I've got a blonde wig that I can't really wear without a hat. So that would be <gasps> okay. <laughs> Wow, Dest, what the heck? <laughs> that was so bad. I forgot what it's like having a fringe. You have to literally, like, place your hat a certain way. <laughs> Otherwise, your fringe looks like something from, um, oh, what's it called? Beetlejuice. Do you remember with Renona Ryder's uh, fringe? It was, like, up here in all different shapes. Uh, all different sort of like lengths and it looked really weird yeah i can do that that's all right that's not too bad i like a hat every now and again but the only thing is with hats it just messes with fringes unless you sort of like position it a certain way and I, that's the only problem when you have a fringe and you've got a hat on you have to position your hat a certain way it's making me look like I've got a bald spot now. <laughs> it just needs washing. Trust the process. Right, okay. So that is my new hat. One of my new hats. I think I bought these mainly for when I'm wearing wigs, to be fair. Like, because you know how it is, like in the winter, if you're wearing a wig, it's kind of like you either have to glue it to your head which I don't really want to do, or you just stick a hat on and it stays in place until you move your hat. Do you know what? My hair is probably quite thin at the moment. <laughs> well, I wish my fringe was probably a little bit thicker, but it is what it is. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it for now. I should have had it a bit thicker. I was worried that it would look weird. Okay. <clears throat> Next hat I got for my uh, my metal friends, a bit of Cannibal Corpse. <laughs> I love Cannibal Corpse. <laughs> I just love the artwork. Oh, wait. Is that reversible? Oh, it's reversible. What the hell? 
Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. Oh, I actually love how that's reversible. All right, this image is not for everyone. I get it. But the artwork and the detail on that, like, come on. That's pretty epic. If you're into that. It's like something out The Walking Dead. <laughs> I think that's what I like about Cannibal Corpse. Their, their artwork is just crazy, you know? All right. Next thing I got. I can see a lot of pencils in there. Um, or pens, should we say. I went a bit doolally for eyebrow things. So I got this. This has all these prongs here. And it's supposed to be easy for your eyebrows. Okay, let's have a little. Oh. Okay. I'm really quite happy with that. Like, come on now. Focus. Don't focus on my face. That's pretty cool. I hope you guys can see that. Don't focus on my face. Oh my god, that's got like, I like it. That is pretty awesome, look. That would save me so much time in the mornings doing my eyebrows. Uh, I will probably try and use this tomorrow, depending. Um, that's actually quite cool. I like that already. Oh my god. And then I got... This might be my favourite one that I've tried so far, though. So this one is one that I tried last time and it has the tiniest tip there. And it's like, so it does such thin little lines. I I like both of them, but I think I'm leaning towards this one at the moment. This, I think that's really cool. I like how it does three lines at once because that would save me so much time rather than doing them all separately. I like, I like that a lot. Let me put that there a minute. Um, yeah, that hat, that hat. Okay. So we have another one of those. I think I've got six of those or five of those. <laughs> Just because I like the product so much. When I like something a lot, I'll buy a lot of it. Three four four it might have just been the four I don't know anyways moving on to the next product that isn't that I think I bought four right okay oh it was, I thought it was five because of the other one <laughs> I'm so dumb sometimes so I was thinking to myself, I thought I bought more than that. Okay, so I've got a lip pencil here. And it is this colour. Let's just give it a swatch. Oh, she dark. She dark. But I bought it because I thought I could line my lips, like slightly overline them a bit more. Because even though I have quite big lips, they're not... When I'm putting, like, lipstick and stuff on, I kind of like to try and not accentuate the cupid's bow, but hide it and do, like, a rounded shape. It just kind of makes you look like you've had lip fillers without having lip fillers. Um, and I quite like it. I really like it. All right. So. Oh, wait. I did have something else that I pulled out. So these, I didn't realise, were for your nippies. <laughs> I like on on the picture okay let me just show you she had one here and one here and it looked like a piercing and they looked a lot smaller and I thought oh that's so cute if you're wearing a strap top that's not gonna look right is it I'll just have to put that in my dark side of Timu and Shein bag I mean I <laughs> to be fair I'm never gonna wear them never gonna wear them Unless I do it on my collarbones, maybe. Like if I'm going out somewhere, I could put them on my collarbones. That would look kind of cool. But it comes with these stickers. 
So, and I assume that's what sticks to your nippy. But I won't be putting mine on my nippies. I don't even... I mean, they're cute. They're very nice. If you're having an intimate, uh, intimate, intimate time with your partner, that, that's cute. That's really cute. But single as a Pringle, what am I going to do with these? Um, but yeah, I, oh, I thought they were going to be smaller and I was going to use them as like a little piercing thing here and there. But oh well, it is what it is. Des didn't read again. What else have I got in here? Okay, so I'll get through the hats first and then I've got three more items. I think that's it. Yeah, okay. So here we have another hat which isn't mine. This is for my youngest for Christmas. So I got him a hat too of one of his favourite games in the whole wide world. Uh, I love this game too. So if he's not wanting to wear the hat, I can wear it. <laughs> I just thought it was dead cute. Like I've never ever seen a Mortal Kombat hat on uh, on Timu. So yeah. Wait, why is that like that? Is that reversible too? Oh wow. Okay, that's reversible too. Love that. Oh my goodness. These hats are actually pretty cool. So if you've got a stain on one of them or like a bird shat on your head. And you couldn't get all the stain out of it. No, actually, that's a bad comparison. Who's going to want to turn it inside out and put it back on their heads? <laughs> Thinking about it, I wouldn't. No, forget I said anything. That's a bad terminology. Because <laughs> even I wouldn't do that. I don't know, say you're eating your dinner at your friend's house, right? And she's done you a chilli or a curry or, or something with like a tomato-based sauce and you get it on your hat and you wash it, but you can't sort of get the stain out. At least you've got the other side. That's what I should have said, but my mind literally went to bird poop. Fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next hat. Because I've got myself another hat too. Uh, I'm hoping this one's reversible. I think it might be. So this is the bat hat. The bat hat. Like how stinking cute is that? And it is reversible. Love that so much. So yes, I have a bat hat. I really love that. That is actually really, really cute. It is so me on so many levels. I really want a bat tattoo as well. Like just just a few little bats somewhere, anywhere. <laughs> I mean, not I, I probably wouldn't put them on my face, but maybe on my hand or something. I don't know. Maybe oh, I really want. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Love Death Plus robots. I really want that symbol going down one of my fingers because I absolutely love that series. Like, it is literally one of my favourites. That and Black Mirror. I love Black Mirror as well. But, oh, love Death Plus Robots. Absolutely epic. I really want to watch it all again. But <laughs> I've seen it, like, four times now. Oh, it's so good. Anyways. Uh, let's go with this. Why are they sending out these snazzy bags all of a sudden? What's going on, Timu? I've got like a few of these now. Are you starting to love me? <laughs> I've got like a couple of these now. And then they come in another bag. So not only do you get the fancy bag, but you get this crappy bag with it as well. I don't know. kind of love it a little bit. I won't lie. I know what this is. <laughs> so I saw this and I did get this, I believe, in a 4X because I like this... Oh, no, I did get a 3X. Okay. <laughs> Not slim, but kind of shady. <laughs> That's so me. That is so me. I can't wait to wear this. Like, I may have to wear this on Friday if I go uptown. I was supposed to be meeting someone, but he cancelled. Um, oh, wells. Uh, but yeah, like, 
it sort of reg- resonates with me at the moment. <laughs> I really like it. I really, 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 really like it. So that is that. I love it. <laughs> Not slim, kind of shady. Such an awesome pop. And then I got another one of these gorgeous Timu bags. What's going on? And then you get the crap one inside again. I mean, I'm not complaining, but you could have saved on these bags and just given me the good ones. Okay. So this, I've always kind of wanted, not the tissue paper, I've always kind of wanted one of these. Because <laughs> it's got ears. <laughs> it actually has ears on it. It's a cat ear hoodie. And it's a zip up. I don't actually know what size I got. What size did I get? Where are you? Where's the sizing? I got it in a 4X. Okay, so this was the one that I got in a 4X. So I know I told you I'm trying not to buy 4Xs, but certain things are like a little bit baggy. So that's why I bought this. Hoping it would be a tiny bit baggy on me. Oh. Straight away, I know this is going to be what I wear most of fall. Like, that is so cute. Look at, I love the stripes on the sleeves. Oh, I love it. It does have a bit of a weird smell, but it's okay. It's not so bad. Once it's been washed, it'll be fine. I just love it so much. Like, what is that? Get off. Nobody asked you. <laughs> that is so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. I can't wait to be wearing it. I probably won't try these things on, on camera. I, it's just a couple of little bits and I'm trying to avoid, <laughs> excuse me, putting too much over this because it makes it incredibly itchy, even itchier. Okay. And the last thing I have now my shoe friends you are gonna love these i am absolutely the, this was what i was excited about and i'm praying that they gon' fit i am praying that they gon' fit these are the cutest pair of boots i have ever put my eyes on while i've been on there and i I've looked at quite a few things, but I don't have a pair of Halloween boots like I do now. <laughs> How stinking gorgeous are they? How gorgeous? Like, come on. Come on. Like, they are absolutely gorgeous. Girls, get them in if you want them. These are going fast. I literally had these in my basket twice and like the first time because i was a little bit late checking out i didn't get them but this time oh i got me some cute shoes i was like yes i need these i have to have these the first day of october y'all know i'm i mean i'm gonna wear them all year round but i'm saving them the first day of october and i am gonna rock these shoes so much i love them if i could get ghost face shoes like this i think it would just make my wait can you customize these kind of shoes oh don't oh don't 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 death don't <laughs> if i can customize those shoes y'all know what's going on them look just absolutely gorgeous i love these so much and i love how thick the laces are if you really wanted to you could change the laces to like a uh, ribbon that would be so nice but oh my God. just look at them just look how perfect they are like i don't even care that the newspaper bits are upside down like, that does not bother me in the slightest. It's the fact that that is such a stinking cute design. 
like the black cats, the spider skulls, the pumpkins, the haunted house, like oh, the little ghosties. It's just so cute. The gravestone. Like, how amazing are they? If y'all were going out clubbing or something, these would be ideal. Like, they're not going to hurt your feet so much because they're like the, the platform type things. But these are just so cute. I just love them so much. Actually love them. I, I love as well how they're a little bit more unique than you think because this is completely different to this side. Like... I just, I love, I just love them. Like some people would be like, oh, that annoys me that they're not both the same on the heels, but nah, not at all. Not at all. It just, it adds to it for me. Like they're so different. Half of me wants to wear them on Friday to go to town in. <laughs> don't do it. That's, don't do it. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. <laughs> oh i love them so much well that's all i've got today like i really enjoyed that uh, especially those shoes at the end absolutely my favorites i thought the wig was going to be my favorite but i think these shoes just they made the haul what it is today without them shoes there was there was no hope right uh so yeah thank you so much our haul don't catch the scab dust Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.